How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. Okay, so let's begin part two of the story, side story understanding. Where is it going to lead us? For the first time, Sayori is the first to enter the club room. Anxiety courses through her relentlessly. Will Yuri show up today? Sitting at a desk, she stamps her feet in an attempt to calm down. Why am I letting this affect me so much? I'm doing everything I can to make Yuri happy. But my best wasn't good enough. And it was still my best. But I'm letting everyone down. I'm always just a disappointment. Wow. Holy crap. Uh, Sayori continues to wrestle with her self-deprecating thoughts. Every tiny noise causes her to lift her head in anticipation of Yuri's arrival. Minutes pass, and nobody enters the club room. Not Yuri. Not Monica. Gosh, I'm so late. Why did I offer to help those other students with their work? I'm such a pushover sometimes. Yeah, but is that a bad thing in this case? It's going to leave such a bad impression on our new on new club members like Yuri if I'm not the first one there. Monica rounds the corner, approaching the club room. As she does so. Yuri? Oh! Yuri jumps at the sound of Monica's voice. She's sitting outside the club room against the wall next to the door. Embarrassed, she quickly closes the book she was reading and stands up. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry I'm late. You didn't have to wait outside for me. The door to the club room is open. It's not. Yuri stammers, unable to explain herself. Peers inside the club room through the window, then looks away. Actually, I was just, I was just wondering if I could help you today instead. Huh? Me? With club publicity stuff? Yes. Monica is utterly confused. Why is Yuri asking this all of a sudden? when she was so eager to spend time with Sayori before. Did they not get along at all? After all, I mean... Monica looks into the club room herself to see Sayori sitting alone inside. Okay. It's kind of a simple job, but I'd be happy for you to tag along. Me too. Monica is worried she finds it difficult to insert herself into whatever conflict that may have arisen. It's a little ironic. She realizes that she could be so conflict avoidant after having been in the debate club. Actually, no. I mean, it's ironic, yeah, but it doesn't. It's It makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's take a walk together. I just have to make copies of this new flyer. To go around the, to the billboard and replace the old ones with the new ones. Yuri nods and the two set off. The two walk in silence. Without Sayori, Monica finds it quite difficult to strike up a conversation. So, how's everything been going? Fine. That's good. Neither of them follow up with anything more. Wow. Great conversation. Round of a freaking applause. Monica tenses up at this stinted? Com wow, I haven't heard that word before, actually. Yeah, surprisingly, I've never heard that word before. Monica tenses up at the stinted conversation. How the heck does Sayori do it? Sorry, 
I didn't see you yesterday. I was straight to the, I went straight to the computer lab to work on the flyers. Mm-hmm. So you already told me. What did you two end up doing yesterday? Just some reading. Oh, I'm glad. It's really starting to feel more like a literature club now. Yeah. It's kind of funny. I felt so intimidated at first when I heard about the kind of reading you were into. But you know, it's kind of stupid of me because I'm just intimidated by things I'm not good at. And it's silly to assume that everyone who comes to the club will just have the same interests as me. But it's so cool that you were able to get Sayori into it. It's like the club is working. I'm really happy about that. She's not into it. Huh? She's not into it. And I'm stupid for forcing it onto her. Yuri falls silent again. As if she started her thought, but can't figure out how to continue it. Jeez. Did something happen? Yuri sighs. No, it's just me. I just... Yuri pauses. Hmm. I'm thinking. A moment passes in silence. Then, Yuri shakes her head. I shouldn't be complaining to you all of a sudden. Don't be silly. I won't think you're complaining. I just want to make sure you feel welcome. If it's important to that, then you can tell me anything. Well, I do feel welcome. Too welcome, I guess. It's not an issue with the club. It's just an issue with me. So I feel wrong to inconvenience you with it. Uh, Monica pauses and thinks. Well, what if we put it this way? It's my job as president to understand the needs of the club members, right? Okay. We're going to have all kinds of people joining this club. Hopefully, anyway. And learning about the diverse needs and interests of everyone will help me come up with the club activities that everyone can be happy with. That everyone can be happy with? Not just only some people? Of course! Okay. I need to be looking out for everyone. Otherwise, what kind of club would it be? I see. Wow. I mean, she's not wrong. Monica's not wrong about that. The only reason I know this is because I've never been part of an official club ever, but I have been part of unofficial clubs. Created basically by ex-classmates of mine and me. It was one of those things where friends would gather together and that group would just keep growing. Making, I guess, what you could call an unofficial club. But And, and there were certain things that were done constantly in there. Like, for example, playing N64 games. Like Super Smash Bros. But outside of that, I mean... Yeah, I don't... I, did, I mean, you don't really need to, but it's kind of nice to know. Yuri looks a little more relaxed. Good. It signals to Monica that switching from a sympathetic approach to a pragmatic one was a good choice. Each individual truly does have their own needs. I need to shorten this wire. There's a wire that's attached to the microphone I'm using. And sorry for the shaking. Because the wire is so freaking long, it's hard for me to not hit it. I'll have to find a way to do that later. Each individual truly does have their own needs. Cool. Okay. 
Yuri takes a deep breath. I'm a really weird and awkward person. I've accepted that about myself. I just don't know how to, I guess, connect with other people. How is it so easy for everyone else? How do you just make conversation about any arbitrary topic? I can talk for hours about the things I'm into. Unfortunately, so much that I don't know when to stop. But for anything else, I just have no idea what to say. So, I understand that about myself. I'm just not good with people. I can't help it. So, it feels like whenever I'm confronted with a new social situation, I'm either ignored or made fun of or taken pity on. And... Sayori falls into that third category. That's not what she was doing. If you guys missed last episode, what Sayori was, do was doing was just showing interest in something that Yuri was into. That wasn't pity. That was just genuine kindness. She, what? Hold on. You're saying that Sayori is taking pity on you? Yuri not. I just want to be treated like a normal person. That's what Sayori was doing. It was just misinterpreted. If you don't like me, or you don't connect with my interests, then just tell me. I can accept that and move on. Yeah, but when people tell you they are, you can't, like, just go, No, you're not, you're lying. Come on, Yuri. Sayuri is too nice to me. I'm so stupid for not realizing that she would just go along with whatever I pushed on to her. Nobody deserves to put themselves through that kind of discomfort just because, because they pity some weirdo who doesn't know how to make friends. It's the worst feeling. I hate it. Yuri's sharp words cut through the tense air. Somewhere in the middle of the conversation, the two stopped short in the hallway prioritizing the conversation over their original task. Monica looks at Yuri. Yuri only looks down, with her fists clenched. I think... I think you should tell her that. I could never say that to someone's face. It's pathetic! Sayori is different. Making people happy is the most important thing to her. I'm sure that's all she's trying to do. So, if you're able to explain to her what makes you happy, then she'll do anything to make it happen. That's the problem. What kind of friendship has one person always trying to cater to the other person's weird needs? I've had him before. I'm sorry. I'm making myself sound so... No... I think I'm starting to understand. Monica hesitates to finish her thought out loud. It's something that Sayori would be able to say better. Sayori is someone who will give anyone however much kindness they need in order to smile. But Yuri, who has difficulty accepting kindness, must be driving Sayori to be even more assertive in her kindness. Further ex... Oh, God, another word I've never heard. We're getting a lot of words I've never heard before. Ex exacerbating? Exact... Actually, I may have heard this word before. I've just never read it. Now that I'm looking at it... Yeah, okay, yes. Exacerbating? 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 Let's just call it exaggerating. <laughs> Hold on. We're looking this up. Hold up. I'm... Pulling out handy dandy phone. If we're going to find a bajillion words that I don't know, we're if we're looking up words I don't know, might as well look up this one first. Is that like a synonym that I do know? Worsen. Let's just go with that word. Actually, I'm holding onto the phone in case something like that happens again. 
must be drive. So, Yuri, who has difficulty accepting kindness, must be driving Sayuri to be even more assertive in her kindness, further worsening the matter. Neither person is to blame. But it's an issue that can't be resolved without them understanding each other better. Sayori wants to be your friend. I promise that. It's okay for different people to have different needs. I mean, Sayori. She has her own needs too. But good friends work together and can be what they need for each other. You just have to good you have to have good communication and talk about it. That is more than true. That is really good advice. I don't have good communication. Yuri stops and shakes her head. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. My head is just... It's so resistant to everything. I'm... I'm pushing such a kind person away from me because of it. Well, I mean... I know the vocal probably sounds a bit more quiet, but I need to lean back for a sec on this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Are you telling me? Actually, this is a lot more comfortable. I might stay like this for now. For now. I'm pushing such a kind person away from me because of it. Yuri pauses to think. I'm so tired of this cycle I'm creating for myself. I think I'm so afraid of people pushing me away that I just push them away first. How thoughtless and immature of me. Yuri takes a deep breath and exhales. I didn't mean for this to turn into a whole venting session. Okay, I think we're good. But I understand now that I just need to communicate with her. <laughs> You're totally fine. It's for the club, remember? You're just helping make the club a better place for everyone. Yeah. Yuri? Yuri falls silent again. She looks like she wants to say something. This... This kind of critical thinking is something that I'm really bad at. And yet you're really good at writing. How does that make s Well, actually, I'm not finishing that sentence because knowing me, that makes perfect sense. I can be really good at verbally saying something at times, but when I try to write it on paper, it takes billions of tries. Obviously, that's over-exaggerated, but I am not joking. It's same concept here. You can write it well on paper. That doesn't mean you can say it well. You know, I found people. So, thank you. Anytime! Monica smiles at Yuri. For just a moment, Yuri finds it in herself to meet Monica's gaze, returning a shy smile of her own. Okay. Okay. Yuri and Monica finish replacing the old flyers with the new ones. More accurately, Monica mostly did the work while Yuri followed it along. But as the club room once again draws near, so does Yuri's confrontation. I can't do this! Yes, you can. It'll be great! Yuri sighs and shakes her head. I'm never going to feel confident enough. I just have to do it. If I don't do it now, I never will. Yuri starts toward the door, then turns to face Monica. You're not just going to wait outside, are you? <laughs> I can take a walk. Want me to get you a coffee or something? Actually, I prefer tea. I like to make my own, though. So please don't worry about it. Although, I suppose that's one downside of reading. Here in the club, rather than at home, I don't get to drink tea while reading. 
Sorry. I guess that has nothing to do with this. Hmm. You know, now that you mention it, I bet we could get permission to keep stuff for tea in the club room. You can use, like, an electric kettle to heat up water, right? Would that really be possible? I'll look into it. I think it would be great. Yuri smiles and nods at the thought. Hey! Happiness! Well, I'll be back in a bit. Good luck! Monica waves at Yuri, then turns... That's actually why I did this. I kind of figured as much. I figured she was doing it while she was walking away. Turns around and departs down the... Okay, so it's not while she's walking whatever as Yuri's smile fades once more moments of daydreaming about tea isn't enough to save her from the anxiety of the task that lies before her but it must be done taking one more deep breath Yuri timidly opens the club room door Sayori shuffles a bunch of papers around. Uh, um. Yuri stammers, her words suddenly caught in her throat. At that moment, she realizes how Sayori has been spending her afternoon. I wasn't expecting you to come today. I was really hoping to make it all the way through the next chapter first. But, but I got most of the way through it. And look! Sayori holds up a sheet of paper. It's a page of notes, beautifully produced with indentations, categories, and even color coding. Wow! For someone who was complaining in the last episode about studying, that is impressive! <laughs> As Yuri sees it, her expression shifts from anxiety to despair. Oh. I was afraid you were getting disappointed in me, so I've been trying really hard. Stop. Yuri presses her fists against her forehead. Please stop. I can't take this. Y Yuri? Sayuri's voice quivers in shock after having received the exact opposite response she was expecting. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sayori looks away in guilt. Oh boy. Did I do something wrong? I don't understand. So if I did something wrong, please tell me. Yuri shakes her head. No, it's me. I keep putting myself in these situations where people are afraid to treat me normally. If you don't like the kind of reading, it's okay. Please just tell me. I don't need to be treated differently just because I'm weird. That's not weird. Personal opinion, that actually is not weird. But I don't treat you differently. Ah, uh, it's too many voices. I don't treat you differently. I just want my friend to be happy. So I thought that if we did something together that you really like, I don't want your pity. Uh, may I do that? Oh, boy. Interruptions from my phone again, except this time... Scam! No one cares! I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if I blasted anybody's ears just now. <laughs> I did not mean to do... Oh, gosh. Yuri sinks to her knees. Her voice squeaks. I'm sorry. Tears of guilt and self-loathing begin to stream down her face. This isn't how it was supposed to go. Why is it so hard just to articulate your thoughts? At least that word I know. <laughs> Why do you end up pushing everyone away from you? Yuri's mind pounds with internal accusations 
as she shuts her eyes, unable to face Sayori or the rest of the world. She should leave, just escape from here, before Monica sees her like this. Before Sayori tells Monica what she did. Why would Sayori do that? But before Yuri can put any strength into her legs, she feels a warm pair of arms gently wrap around her from behind. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that's just sweet. Wow. You could t okay, I'm pushing this away for a moment just to show kind of imagery. You could definitely tell both of them both of them are still hurt. You can definitely still tell that um Sayori there is still hurt, but I mean the gentleness is just that that is really sweet. It's okay. Sayori whispers in a soothing voice. It's okay. It's okay. Overcome by despair, Yuri finds herself unable to protest or pull away from Sayori's kind gesture. Yuri sniffles, breathing heavily through a clenched throat, trying with all her willpower to control herself. I understand. I understand that the things you're feeling in your head are different from the things you're trying to say. I know that must be what you're feeling right now. I promise, I understand that. Okay. Her expression just went from... Pained? But trying? To simply comforting. Oh, there's the pain again. Why did I have to say something? <laughs> Why did I have to talk? So I'll give you as much time as you need. When you're ready, just tell me your feelings. We'll talk about them together. Okay? Yuri sniffles again and nods her head. She gives herself a minute to compose her thoughts and speaks while steadying her voice. But I've gotten so used to people being weirded out by me that it feels like anyone who's nice to me is just doing it out of pity. I'm so horrible with people. You're not the only one who's gone through something like that, actually, Yuri. I've met a few people who have, too. I have no right to say who, and I'm not going to anyway, but I've met enough people in the world to know that that is not abnormal. She calls herself abnormal, but that is not. So it makes me not want to believe that someone can actually like me for who I am. Yuri pauses, but Sayori doesn't interrupt. Rather, she waits for Yuri to continue. I got so excited when I joined the literature club. I thought that it was finally my chance to make friends through my interests. Because my interests are the only things I know how to talk about. It's all I have going for me. But then, whenever I catch myself getting overly obsessive in front of other people, it feels like I'm making a fool of myself. I hate myself for it. Ultimately, I just want to be treated like a normal person. How am I supposed to expect that when I can't behave like one? What did I just say? She's more normal than she gives herself credit for. I just want to learn how to get along with people and stop ruining things for myself. Goodness. That's all. Is it? Is that all, Yuri? Yuri finishes her thoughts, feeling more steady after having got them out. Sayori, who can feel Yuri's breath, rises. No. Who can feel Yuri's breath rise and fall from beneath her arms, realizes that as well. Thank you for helping me understand you a little bit better. You know, you were so great at helping me while we were reading. So I'll help you with the things that you need to. You need to. But I feel like it would just be 
frustrating for you. Look how much patience I require sometimes. You obviously don't know this girl at all. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds kind of familiar. I couldn't stop worrying about that while we were reading. I was so afraid you would get frustrated with me. But, but I would never do that. I did my best to reassure you by mentioning how I have a lot of patience. Yeah, I know. But my irrational fears just won't be quiet sometimes. I'm sure it's the same for you, right? Bingo. Yeah. Irrational fears. Well, you know, there's no way that you could frustrate me. Because I already like you as the person that you are. I know you said you have a hard time believing that, but I promise that it's true. You don't have to be a social person for people to like you. I think you're really considerate in your own way, you know? Worrying so much about people's feelings. I can relate to that. We're all kind of weird. It's a literature club. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. But it's the best that we're all different. It's, it's the best part that we're all different and have different interests. She's not wrong. Like about the book. I'm reading it because I want to. I promise. That's what I really want. It's a bit of a struggle. But try not to mistake that for me not enjoying it. I mean... We could never discover new things if we didn't try them first, right? Smart thing to say. I want to learn the reasons that you love it so much. And in the end, if it's not for me, then I can say that. But I'll be glad that I tried it and learned more about you. Plus, you're like super duper smart. And I want that to rub off on me. <laughs> Yuri fights back a smile at that comment. Already, the heavy atmosphere surrounding her seems to have evaporated through the car the caress? Caress! Through the caress of Sayori's arms. Your hair is so pretty. I always wanted long hair, but I was awful at taking care of it, so I cut it all off. Yuri's tension relaxes. Okay, that is actually adorable. That is adorable. For once, she feels okay just listening rather than worrying so much about saying the right thing. I mean, you can tell that Sayori is still concerned, but she pro in here, she's probably going, am I doing this right? Am I doing this right? Am I doing this right? But... Yuri's tension's gone. For once, I just I just read this. Sayori, sensing Yuri's comfort, lets her rest. It must be so difficult for her to feel relaxed around other people. But if the literature club can make it happen, then it's something that she deserves to experience. Okay. Well then, based on my understanding of your feelings, I suppose I wouldn't mind if we were to continue reading. <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. But we can stop at any time. If you truly don't like it, please be honest about it. I won't be offended. Of course. I'm not going to judge anything, anything this early on, though. So we'll just see what happens. Oh, and... Um... It's not good to touch people without their consent first. Oh no! I'm sorry! Hey, it helped! Yuri, come on! Consider it like a friendly hug. That's all I saw it as, but for you... Yuri! <sighs> I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable! Oh, you did it. I mean, I suppose it was kind of nice. 
I was just saying. I'm back. Monica's back. I haven't seen you, like, at all recently. Sayori trots over to Monica. <laughs> what, what the hell? I, I, the only, okay. Stepping aside for a moment, because I got some time to kill. Whoops. The only thing, when, the only thing I see when they say it like that is this. Tell me if I'm wrong if this is what this isn't saying. <laughs> That's basically what I'm seeing in that. Am I wrong? Am I wrong to assume this? <laughs> Someone please tell me. <laughs> He whispers loudly. Can I hug you? <laughs> sure, Sayori. Sayori wraps her arms around Monica. Oh yeah, Yuri, it might be good to know. Sayori can be kind of a hug monster. Uh. Hey, don't call me a monster! Artemis is a monster! If he inherits the kingdom, it could spell disaster. Yeah, like. Sayori really is try I love how Sayori really is trying to show interest in that book. I have no idea what she's talking about. But. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri laughs. Monica perplexedly. Per uh, perplexedly. There are too many words that I can't, like, comprehend immediately. I can't comprehend anything, apparently. Me Yo no comprendo. I think that's how you say that. In Spanish, yo I no don't comprehendo. I think that's how you say comprehend. Uh, comp I th a lot of words in span in the span the version of Spanish I'm talking about are very 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 similar to English, but at the same time they're not, so it depends. Anyway, well I'm glad you've been enjoying your reading so far. It's like our first real activity as the literature club. Uh, about that. Well. You've been so patient with exploring my interests. I think that it would be inconsiderate of me not to return the favor to you and learn about the things that you like. Yes! Do you like poetry? Yuri smiles. I think Yuri loves poetry, if I remember correctly. Okay! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That is the second side story done. Technically, we've got one. So we got two more on here. After that, though, we'll still have one more. I am not going to do it yet, though. Um, what I could do is I could do these other two, but then I have to go and do Sayori's route to unlock the last two side stories. And that's going to be a doozy. One way or the other, though, I am going to leave this video here. Whether I do Sayori's route or these other two side stories first, we'll see. We'll find out next time. But for now, I am going to leave this video here. So, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion for a visual novel you'd like to see on here? Let me know in the comments below. Want to check out one I've done prior to this? Click the link in the bottom right hand corner in the train to take you to that destination. Missed any of the stops on this ride? And there are plenty at this point. Click the link across my head here and the train will take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!